everyone and welcome to my new dolly paint video and today guys it's gonna be a very 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 special project at least for me because in a couple of weeks on the 8th of april i'm turning 40 years old oh my god sounds so scary and i've decided to create a new mini me doll to celebrate this beautiful achievement this beautiful anniversary yes it sounds scary but i don't really care i feel very happy very energetic right now at the moment so i've decided to make a new mini me doll i've already made one mini me doll a couple of years ago you can see her <laughs> chilling there at the back in the middle of the mess I'm sorry guys for this mess you know I'm a very messy artist I will not even hide the fact that I'm a very messy artist but this is a little bit too much messy <laughs> for me this is just a disaster but I promise you now I will finish this doll then I will take myself and the doll on the cruise and then I will come back and then I will clean up the mess I promise you right now I have no time for it yeah because we're going to make the new mini me doll so what is wrong about the old mini me doll first of all uh she looks too serious <laughs> I don't know uh, when I was making this doll a couple of years ago, I felt probably more adult, more serious. I wanted to create the doll that would kind of show myself as a grown-up adult. But this time I want to vice versa create a doll that would be more cartoonish. Uh, I want to make a doll that I would be able to take with me on holidays and all kinds of cruises. Because if you miss this fact somehow, uh, last year I have become completely addicted to cruises. In. That's normal, you know, I was sitting home for so long uh, Working on those literally I've spent probably six years staying home all the time uh, Working on those and nothing else going maybe on holidays once per year for ten days and that's it uh, So last year when finally uh, The cruising came back like the world uh, Became completely open. I've discovered for myself cruising and I took this old mini me doll with me on a cruise and then I realized that yeah that this mini me doll is not that good for me anymore first of all I don't really like her very serious face too much uh, secondly her hands are formed to hold the pencil or a brush uh, so she doesn't look that good on pictures I have to all the time photograph her from the back and photograph her in a way that you don't see her hands so this time I want to make a very cartoonish, very cute mini me. She doesn't have to be like a portrait copy of myself, but of course I will use my original features like she's supposed to represent me. Uh, but I want her to be very cute, very cartoonish. Uh, I want her to be more curvy because I'm not that skinny as this original first uh, mini middle. Have zero problem with it, but I would love to have a good curvy doll to represent myself uh yeah i want doll with cute hands with cute face with cute hair outfit and everything and once i finish this doll we will take her on a cruise and you will see the final pictures not here in my studio like usually but the final pictures of this doll you will see from the cruise ship from different locations we i'm going to the mediterranean and then a little bit to the atlantic uh, uh, we're li visiting lisbon casablanca and gibraltar uh, plus to the mediterranean cities so let's start working, let's start the transformation. First of all, let's take a look at the doll that I've chosen to represent myself in a doll form. Ah, by the way, there is another detail that I want to change. This old mini me doll had real lashes. No, real lashes, I mean falses, <laughs> 3D lashes. But this time I want to draw lashes because uh, when you're traveling, when you're all the time carrying this doll with you, somewhere in your pocket, in your backpack, somewhere, of course, uh, these eyelashes uh, start looking bad very quickly. That's why this old mini me doll needs some spa. <laughs> so I need to refresh her a little bit after taking her to Iceland to my cruise last year in June. So this is it. Probably, probably I've said everything. If I've forgotten something, I will tell it later, I guess. In the beginning, like always guys, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit the bell button to get notified about my new doll repaint videos. The next one will be in two weeks, I think, on Friday. Sometimes it's every week, sometimes it's every second week. 
And yeah, hit the like button if you want to support my art here on YouTube. And this being said, let's start working. So, I've decided that this new Dracolora doll would be a perfect doll model to represent myself. Because she's curvy, she's cute, she has this very cute hands. I don't know, I think she's just absolutely ideal. I was choosing between her and the new Abby doll, but Abby has like these more monster hands with claws, you know? That's why I went for Draculaura. So I think she will be perfect for it. Uh, now we will quickly get rid of all her features, cut her hair off, wipe off her face with pure acetone, and then when I end up with a clean canvas, we will start the makeover. She will have long dark hair, of course, so I will first paint her head with black acrylics and then I will give her new hair using my rerouting tool made out of an X-Acto knife. couple of hours of working on her hair in front of my laptop, watching movies and whatever on YouTube, I finished the rerouting, you can see how it all looks, I gave her a part in the middle as well as on the side, because I wear my hair differently on different days, so I will be able to change my doll's hair as well. Now I will add glue inside of the head to keep all this hair in place, and then I will start working on her face in a couple of days when this glue gets dry. Before I start drawing, I seal her face with a couple of layers of Mr. Super Clear sealant. You cannot repaint a doll without it, because it makes rubber faces more kind of paper-like. And it also lets me to protect my work between the layers. 
I begin with applying a layer of green pastels first to cancel this pink skin tone using a green background really helps create a very realistic looking skin colors if you're going for kind of light to medium skin tone For her eye makeup I will use warm brown shades, this is what I mostly wear, these kind of eyeshadows, and I will give her my kind of blue-grey eyes and natural red-brown lips.
Okay, I think the face looks very cute, so now let's do the same thing to her body to make it look the same color. Like this we're done with the painting part of this makeover I think she looks very cute now let's make an outfit and first of all she will have black pants like black leggings because this is what I wear most of the time during my travels then I will give her a red sweatshirt something similar to the hoodie that I wear in the beginning of this video red will look very good on pictures so I will go for a red color hoodie today Now I want to add my logo to the front of this top, I've printed it on a special transfer paper and I will attach it to the shirt using the hot iron. Doesn't it look cute? <laughs> I don't know, I absolutely love it. I think we should make this hoodie in a big size, at least for myself. I don't know, I think it would be absolutely lovely. Now she needs a pair of shoes and these are my favorite sneakers at the moment. I wear them all the time and I like massive shoes in general. So I think this rainbow high shoes will be a good base for it. I just need to paint them and yes, rainbow high shoes fit new monster high dolls. I find it very handy. This is what I've ended up making and now I think her basic outfit is finished. I didn't want to overcomplicate it because this doll will spend the biggest part of her life in my backpacks, my pockets, you know, somewhere in my luggage. So it should be something simple with not too many tiny and fragile details, but very functional and bright in color and also recognizable as me and my own outfit. So I think it's a good outfit for her and in the future I will make more outfits more accessories for this doll to fit different situations so this project will keep growing in the future now I will style her hair add gloss to her eyes and lips no falsies today as I mentioned at the beginning of this video and then we will take her on a cruise
this me and mini me arrived on the ship embarked today uh, we are now aboard of uh, Costa Fortuna ready for our beautiful two weeks travel uh, mini me survived the road very well her hair is a little bit flat but you know hair is not a problem you can style and restyle and restyle it again <laughs> endless amount of time so we're sitting here and now we're kind of matching hoodies the mini me is ready for her very first cruise let's see how it goes i will do my best uh, making pictures showing her and you around the places that where we will come in the next two weeks yeah, we're in our room. The room is huge. The room is really spacious. It's a beautiful cabin. Really, it's at the back of the ship, like a corner cabin. Two windows, absolutely beautiful. And it costs as much as a regular sea view window cabin. So it's not like, I don't know, it looks like mini suite, but it actually costs as much as any regular window cabin that is three times smaller normally would cost so i'm very happy mini me are you happy yes i think mini me is very happy as well so we are ready for our special adventure guys let's take a look where we are going and what is going on so mini me has visited a bunch of places on her very first cruise she was in cadiz spain then she has spent a very hot afternoon in lisbon portugal i love lisbon and i was so happy to be back there then we had a very interesting excursion in gibraltar visiting the military tunnels inside of a mountain really we've spent a fantastic day there and we've also spent a fantastic evening in Casablanca, Morocco. Really, it was amazing. And of course, yes, we spent a lot of time on the ship, chilling and having fun, enjoying good coffee, enjoying good company. So I think we had really a lot of fun with her on this cruise and I can't wait to take her on the next adventure. And I really need to make this hoodie in a human size, guys. <laughs> I want to wear it myself. I don't know, should I make them for sale or just one for myself? Please let me know in the comments. I don't know, if you want those hoodies or sweatshirts as well, I will make them as a merch for everyone to buy so I can make more of them, but I need to know if people really need them. And also please let me know if you want to see more of our travels in the future. I will post more pictures of Mini Me on my Instagram. Please check it there and subscribe to my Instagram as well. And I will also post some videos probably both on YouTube channel and on my Instagram of me making more outfits and more accessories for Mini Me for our future travels. And this doll is of course not for sale, but my Zendaya doll from my last video from two weeks ago is back in stock. You can watch a video about me making Zendaya on my channel. I think it was the most complicated outfit I've ever made, really. I wasn't sure myself if I could make it. So please don't forget to watch that video and you can find a link to buy this doll on eBay in the description box under this video. So guys, and that was it. That was my doll transformation of the week. I really hope you enjoyed it today. And if so, please don't forget to support my art here on YouTube with your likes. Of course, subscribe to my channel, hit the bell button to get notified about my new doll repaint videos. And I will see you very soon in two weeks in my new doll makeover. Love you guys. Have a nice weekend. Bye.